college football coaching carousel is on full display at the very moment, and things are beginning to get crazy. Almost too crazy. Yesterday, we saw Lincoln Riley unexpectedly jump from Oklahoma to USC, which sent shockwaves all around the college football world and left many scratching their head. We also saw Florida go out and hire Billy Napier, who's one of the top young coaches in the country, and many think he's the next big thing in coaching. Those two jobs are now filled, but there are so many other big time programs who still have a vacancy. This includes LSU, Virginia Tech, Oklahoma, and Washington. It looks like Kalen DeBoer is gonna be the next head coach of the Huskies, but as of right now, I'm seeing some crazy rumors that Brian Kelly could go to LSU. This was sent on a notification on my phone, so this is not something I just pulled out of thin air. And in today's video, I wanna quickly discuss that rumor, what is going on with it, and what are the pros and cons of Kelly leaving for LSU? But right before we get into it, it's a chaotic time in college football, and you're gonna to wanna to hear everything that's going on, so be sure to subscribe, as I'm gonna to try to cover pretty much every story, and you're not gonna to wanna to miss out. Turn on post notifications so you never miss when I upload, hit that like button for the algorithm, and let me know what topic, rumor, or anything I can take a look at next. Now, let's get started. Let's quickly meet who Brian Kelly is. He played for the, for the Assumption University Greyhounds, which is a school that no one's ever heard of, but he immediately went into coaching right after that. He made a name for himself as the head coach at Grand Valley State before he took the head coaching job at Central Michigan. He had a great three years there and ended up taking the Cincinnati job. While he was at Cincinnati, he led them to three straight 10 plus win seasons, including three bowl games. He went 34 and six in his time at the Bearcats, so he was a hot commodity on the coaching market and obviously Notre Dame signed him. His first two years were difficult as they went eight and five, but eventually they ended up getting to the national title game. And in the later part of this decade, he's gotten them the two college football playoff appearances. So far in 2021, the Irish are on the outside looking in, but if a couple dominoes fall their way, they could find themselves in the playoff bracket. They're 11 and one with their only loss coming to Cincinnati, so they better be rooting for either Iowa or Baylor. In terms of Kelly's overall record, he's gone 92 and 39 at Notre Dame and is considered one of the best coaches in school history. That's up for debate, but if Notre Dame misses the playoff this year because they don't have a conference championship, some are wondering if Kelly could jump ship and go to a different program. That program is LSU. According to The Athletic, there are sources that LSU is aggressively pushing to get Kelly and that there is some traction to make it happen. So why on earth would Kelly leave Notre Dame? Well, there's the whole idea of the conference championship game, and if they get left out of the playoff, he might be tired of that. Secondly, according to the article by The Athletic, Kelly wants better facilities, but he doesn't know if Notre Dame's gonna back him up and make it happen. LSU is the pinnacle of good facilities as they have poured millions of dollars into those facilities to make it one of the most attractive football destinations in the country. You're also in an area with so much elite talent and with how desperate LSU is to hire a good coach, they might pay him an absolute absurd salary. For a little while, it was reportedly going after Lincoln Riley, but that didn't happen. There were also rumors of, of them going after Billy Napier, but apparently that wasn't true. And this LSU coaching search has been a disaster. You'd think when they fired their coach a couple months ago that they'd have a guy lined up, but as of right now, I have no clue what is going on with them. In my eyes, I don't think Brian Kelly should leave for LSU as he has a good thing going on at Notre Dame. He's beloved there, and I think the donors and the boosters will pull out the money to get the facilities needed. If anything, I think it's actually a downgrade because LSU is going to be tougher to win at. Right now, you can pick a couple games of who they want to play in the offseason, and then they play the ACC opponents. Right now, the ACC is the second weakest Power 5 conference, and why would you leave that? Go coach in the hardest division in college football. Every single team from the SEC West made a bowl game, and all of them are recruiting well, so it's only to get tougher and tougher to win. You also have Nick Saban there, who has proved time and time again he's the best coach in the country, and why would Kelly want to go after that every year? It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, and hopefully this is just some big rumor, but if LSU manages to get Kelly, that changes everything, and then the Notre Dame job opens up. It's truly been a nuts coaching carousel so far, and I think with everything that's going on, we are in for a crazy few weeks in the coaching carousel, the transfer portal, and everything college football related. Let me know what you guys think though. What coaches will go to which schools? Is there any chance Brian Kelly goes to LSU? And if not that, who do you think will be the next head coach at LSU? Be sure to let me know down in the comment section, smash that like button if you want to support today's video, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.